What's up brand builders, Stephen Hurahan here at brandmasteracademy.com and in this video you're going to learn the five stages of customer awareness so you can adjust your messaging at every touch point, giving your customers what they want, when they want it. Now if you're new to the channel and you want to build brands that go beyond the visuals using strategy, psychology and creative thinking, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be well on your way. Now the different stages of the customer awareness is not something new, it's not a new concept, it's been around for many many years. Eugene Schwartz wrote the book Breakthrough Advertising back in 1966, that's over 50 years ago and this concept holds water today and if you understand it, if you understand those different stages, then you can adjust your messaging strategy to meet your customers where they are and help them with what they need help with right now. So in this video, I'm gonna go through each one of the customer awareness stages so you can apply those stages to your own brand strategy and your own messaging strategy so you can connect with your audience. Stage number one, completely unaware. Now, this isn't referring to the fact that they're completely unaware about anything, they're just completely unaware about the problem that you're going to help them solve later on. So in this stage, they're just browsing through their feed or they're reading the newspaper or watching TV or watching a YouTube video. They're not really looking to solve any problem because they are not aware that the problem exists yet. So in this stage, your brand is not on the scene and even the problem itself is not on the scene. Stage number two, problem aware. So. Obviously in this stage, they're becoming aware of what the problem is that needs solving. Now, they've moved from a stage where they're completely unaware and maybe they've moved into the next stage because they experienced the problem themselves or maybe they've heard about the problem. Maybe their friend have, has told them about a problem that they've had or they read an article. Maybe they read an article, a blog post or watched a video that has made them aware of the problem. But now the problem is on their radar and in this stage they're starting to digest that problem and starting to get a feel for what this problem is all about and what it could potentially do to their lives, what impact it could have within their lives. So let me give you an example of this. Maybe a consumer is going through their newsfeed and they see an article that is all about the chemicals that are in drinking water and they open up the article and they read through it and they realize that the drinking water coming out of their tap or their faucet might not be as clean as they thought it was because this article spells out the chemicals that are in everyday drinking water. So now they're suddenly aware of the problem. They didn't know that this problem existed before and now they're aware of it. And that leads us on then to the next stage. Stage number three is solution aware. So in the last stage, you're talking about problem where they've become aware of that problem. And in this stage, it's all about learning about what the solution is, what the fix is, because when there's an itch, we have to scratch it. When there's a problem, we need to solve it. So what is that solution that's out there? So when you come across a problem, you might jump onto Google or call a friend and ask them if they've come across that problem before and if they know of a solution. But either way, you go and search of that solution and you might find one solution, you might find multiple different solutions, but now you are aware that there are solutions out there. It's not getting specific about exactly what those solutions are and how those solutions are delivered. You're just becoming aware that there are solutions out there and you're becoming aware of what those solutions are. Stage number four is product aware. So this is going deeper now, it goes past the solution. Yes, we know now that there is a solution to the problem that we identified earlier on, but now it's about figuring out exactly what those solutions are and getting down into the nitty gritty. Maybe there's a very specific product out there. Maybe there's a very specific service out there. And in this stage, we become aware of what those services are and what those products are. And what we tend to do within this stage is we start to compare apples with apples. We start to compare what solutions are out there and exactly what those solutions will do for us and those products are lined up side by side. And this is really where the consideration phase begins. It starts to become a game of, well, which option is best? Which products or services are best for my particular problem? And stage number five is most aware. Now, in this stage, your brand awareness is very high. They know who you are, they know what you do, and they potentially know what impact you can have 
in their life and why you're different to all of those other products or all of those other services or all of those other brands in the marketplace. If you're putting out content, they're digesting it. If you're putting out articles, they're reading them. If you're putting out videos, they're watching them. They're drinking your Kool-Aid and they're very aware that you can help them in their lives. They might not have pulled the trigger yet, but they are definitely considering your brand. Your brand awareness is very, very high and it might just be a matter of time before they engage you for your services or your products. So these are the five stages of customer awareness and you can see from this, it's really important to know which stage your customer is at when you're engaging with them, when you're speaking to them. There's no point in introducing a product to them if they're not even aware that a problem exists in the first place. On the other hand, if they are aware that a problem exists and you introduce a solution at the right time, then you're speaking their language. You're giving them what they need in that point in time and your messaging will engage with them. So how do you speak directly to your audience at each stage in that awareness? What do you say to them in order to make sure that you're delivering the right message at the right time? Well, Eugene Schwartz in his book, Breakthrough Advertising, puts forward a very, very simple solution and it's all about the hook or all about the headline. And that is, if they are product aware, then your headline is about the product. If they're solution aware, then your headline is about the solution. And if they're problem aware, then your headline is about the problem. It's a very, very simple formula that translates to this. Speak about what their problem is right now and you will engage with them and you will hook them in and you will get their attention. If you do this well enough, then your messaging will guide them from one stage of customer awareness to the next. And by the time they get to that decision-making phase, you've already earned trust with them. So the next piece of content that you sit down to write, whether it's on your website or whether it's an ad or a video, whatever it may be, think to yourself about what stage your customer is in at that very touch point and ask yourself, what do they need right now? But I'd love to hand it back over to you. I'd love to hear your experiences when it comes to customer awareness. Have you taken the time to identify each and every one of your touch points and then marked out which stage of awareness your customer is at at that particular touch point. If you do that, then you can shape the messaging within that touch point. If you have any challenges at all around customer awareness or mapping out your customer awareness, then let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all of those. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. It'll let you know when I've got new videos coming out. If you want more actionable brand strategy tips and techniques like this one, head on over to brandmasteracademy.com. Get yourself signed up for that list. It is free and it keeps some exclusive content for that list. So get yourself involved and there are plenty of resources on there as well for you to download to get you going with brand strategy. But as I said, I'd love to hand it back over to you. I'd love to hear your experiences, your challenges. As I said, I'll do my best to answer all of those. Until next time, brand like a master and I'll see you in the next video.